Good morning. It is Thursday. I don't know why for a second I thought it was Wednesday. Now I'm really excited it's Thursday because that means Kevin has tomorrow off. And then we're not going to see him for the foreseeable future. <laughs> um, so today's Thursday. I don't know what I have planned for today. Luca woke up from his emergency alarm at 7.30. So we both slept in this morning a little bit. And then um, Luca did really well last night. He's been waking up like between 4.30 and, well, he's actually, he's been waking up like every day at 4.30. And then he just gets a little boob and goes back to sleep until typically, Either he wakes up right at seven or he tries to sleep in and then the emergency alarm. For new viewers, I have an alarm that I have set because one time I let him sleep in and it fricked up our whole day. So now I know like I can let him sleep in 30 minutes past what he normally sleeps to and it won't mess him up. So I have an alarm set at 7.30 for like emergencies if we both sleep in to wake us up. So when I say emergency alarm, that's what I mean. So he slept till that this morning and he woke up super happy, woke up super happy, smiling and like dancing in the crib. So I think he needed a little bit of extra sleep. And last night he was like ready to go to bed at like six when Shishi was still here. So anyhow, I, like I said, I have no idea what I planned for today. I meant to take out my chicken yesterday so it could thaw. Um, but I forgot. So took it out this morning. Hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully it'll be thawed by this evening. Um, I'll check it throughout the day. I'm kind of like jump starting it out on the counter, even though the inside of my house is cold. It's not going to do shit probably, but it, it'll be a little quicker maybe than the fridge. Um, I'll check it throughout the day once I put it in the fridge and see how it's progressing thawing wise and oh yeah I can't cut them into I was gonna say I can cut the breasts lengthwise like long ways and make them thinner so instead of three breasts I'll have six but I forgot that I have to leave them intact because I'm stuffing them so I may have fucked up a little bit we'll see but that's my plan my plan for tonight is to make lasagna stuffed chicken since Kevin will be here and um, it's a little bit, I think I remember it being a little bit complex, more of a complex recipe, but not thinking about it, it shouldn't be. It should literally just be prepping the chicken, stuffing it, and then putting it in the oven. What was I making sidewise with it? Oh, I think I was gonna make some kind of frozen veggie. So, Luca is in the back watching Mickey Mouse this morning. He's been on his Mickey Mouse kick again, um, taking a little break from Bluey. And yeah, my vlog from yesterday is about to go live and I'm excited to see what you guys have to think about it. Um, hopefully you've all watched it by now. It's a long one, it's almost an hour, but I just wanted to like, I cut in like dead space that we had at the Dollar Tree, but me and Alicia were just like bouncing off each other talking the whole time. So I left a bunch of it in and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee, hang out with Luca a little bit and then maybe catch back up with you during his first nap. My period is still very, very painful so since I kind of pushed through the last three two days of it I may take like today off and not do anything since I know Kevin and I are going to be doing things tomorrow and I don't know what this weekend is going to look like um because it's when Kevin starts working so I may take today off from kind of like moving around doing a bunch of stuff and then go hard in the next few days. 
All right, so while I drank my coffee this morning, I was just perusing Amazon because I'm still on the hunt for the giant dump truck. Could not find it. Well, I, I knew I wasn't gonna find it at the Dollar Tree, but um, someone else said that they found one at CVS or Walgreens. So I looked at CVS and Walgreens around me on the app. They didn't have any. So her video must have been older or maybe they have them seasonally maybe like around Christmas or something so I was like all right let me hop on Amazon let me just see my options because I went on Target and Walmart and I looked at them and they were like $30 and up and I was like that's just very expensive now the ones on Target and Walmart may have been metal but I don't want metal because I want him to be able to play with it now and he's still kind of like unstable flops around and throws himself down and I can't imagine him playing with a metal dump truck right now, so plastic was the way I wanted to go. I found one on Amazon. It was like 10 or 11 bucks for an 11 inch one, which will be perfect to prop up so the chips can be falling into the bowl out of it. Um, so I just was like perusing construction um, birthday supplies on Amazon just to see like what they had that Timu didn't offer and what was the other place? Was, the Dollar Tree didn't have. So I found a couple things on Amazon that then triggered my mind to check Timu. So I've started another little Timu cart of some things now that I'm really feeling good about the party. I'm feeling like things are moving along with the house. I had a dream last night that like our house was done early. So I'm just the manifestation. I'm just like, it's going to happen and it's going to be so cute. So Oh my goodness, you lifted your plate up. How'd you do that? He's so proud of himself. He's like, mom, I dislodged my plate and you just stuck it back down. How rude of you. So um, there were a couple things on Amazon that I saw that I was like, oh my gosh, that's just way too cute. And it's a little bit more, but I think it's going to be worth it. Mm -hmm. So once that comes, it's going to be trickling in the next few days. I need to like put together a small or a medium sized moving box and start putting all of his birthday supplies in it. So then I can do like a big haul um, eventually, probably once we get closer to the birthday, because I'm just going to keep picking up things here and there as I think of them. Like I've already added a couple more things to a Dollar Tree list because I've got an idea for something for our front porch um, to make it look cute for people coming up for his birthday. And so I added something more into my cart on Timu. I added some like letters, box letters that you can fill with balloons. So my plan is to spell his name out. And then, um, yeah, I've just got, I've got some plans up here, but it was cheaper to get it on Timu. I've been comparing prices now because um, Amazon and Timu have the exact same items, but Timu is usually like half to like a fourth on some of the bigger items, less price. So I found the same boxes on, um, Timu. He's dropping Cheerios and they were cheaper. So I went ahead and added them to my cart on Timu and I'm just gonna that's what I'm going to do today is just kind of like pop back and forth from Amazon to Timu. Just make sure that I have everything that I want off Timu now that I've been to the Dollar Tree and I've looked around and I know what I can get from the Dollar Tree and what I'm going to have to order online. So I've just been comparing prices like there was a cupcake stand identical on both on Timu and Amazon. And on Amazon it was like five dollars or sorry on Timu it was like five dollars cheaper. So added that to my Timu cart. I'm just like trying to think now that I know we're for sure doing taco, not tacos, we're for sure doing nachos. I'm going to do cupcakes for the adults. I'm going to do, I'm going to make a smash cake or a cake for Luca and then decorate it for him. Um, so I'm just trying to not go overboard, but still make sure that I have everything that I need. Um, especially because I'm not sure when our 
I'm going to start calling it the present portal. I'm not sure when our present portal is going to be put on our land. So I feel like I need to go ahead and order everything that I want off Amazon now to have it sent to the rental house so I can start collecting it because once we get on the property, our main focus is going to be decorating the, not decorating, but like unloading the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, and Luca's bathroom. And obviously like our bedrooms, like Luca's bedroom and our bedroom, but we're not going to be decorating them fully. They just need to be livable. Um, my plan is to shut the door to the laundry room, have the cats in there, depending on how many people we have come over. It makes me nervous when we have people come over because our cats sometimes will just randomly charge at the door and try to escape. And here, most of the time our garage doors down, most of the time, and they have escaped into the garage, which makes me so nervous. They've never escaped this house. When we were in Kansas, Tara would escape all the time in Kansas. Thank God she stayed around the outside of the house and I was able to figure it out quick, get her back inside. I think T Nico made it out a couple times, but I know here, like here we have coyotes, which <laughs> is wild because like we're in the city right now, but there's a strip of land behind our house that is like woods and like at the rental house we're at now. And that strip of land is like home of the coyotes here in the middle of the city. It's really crazy. And um, that terrifies me. Um, so when we get to the new house, we have, what's that other thing? Bobcat? Is that what we have? A panther. No, it's a bobcat. We have a bobcat at our new house. And I'm like, if our inside cats get out, terrified. I don't even want to say what would happen because I know that they just like probably wouldn't do well. They wouldn't survive. So anyhow, locking them in the um, laundry room, but that's where all their stuff's going to be. Their litter box, their food, their water, everything that the cats are going to need are going to be, is going to be in the laundry room. So when we have stuff like this, parties, we can lock the door to the outside, lock the door of the laundry room and put a sign on it and be like, do not open, cats are in here and they're gonna be safe. Hopefully they'll be happy. Probably not, but you know, it'll be good enough. So we plan to shut the laundry room door, shut our bedroom door, shut Luca's bedroom door and shut our office door. Are you pooping? I think so. So the only thing like guests will be able to see will be the main room they walk into, which is our living room and kitchen. And then Luca's bathroom will be the only two rooms open to them for them to see. We're not worried about decorating the rest of the house. We're just going to focus on that. And then we'll have like a housewarming party once everything's finished. So that means, did I tell you this, that Friday... We're going over to Alicia's mom's house so we can pick up the entertainment center so I can start working on it because that's going to need to be completed for Luca's party. I thought I heard the coyotes. I've been hearing them 24-7. I used to only hear them at night. Now they've been howling during the day and stuff and it's been freaking me out. But that was um, the fire truck from... So... That's my plan for today. I'm just gonna keep making sure that I have everything I need. The couple things that I have bought, I'm gonna add to my vision board, which I can share with you guys later today. Maybe once he goes down for his nap and I add the newer things that I've gotten. Um, and that's pretty much my plan for today. Some of the things are getting delivered today because Kevin had stuff in our Amazon cart, so it's over like the $25 or $35 limit that um, like triggers same day delivery on some items. So some things will be delivered today, but uh, I'll be doing like my grand haul probably closer to his birthday. <laughs>
What's the funny part? Is it me making my hair go back and forth or is it me? Madison. Oh. Can't let them know. Do you think mommy's funny? Serious face. One more time. Ready? So Luca just woke up from his first nap. <laughs> was it a good nap? It was pretty decent. It was 45 minutes. He woke up like 30 minutes early from it. So it wasn't a full nap. So hopefully his second nap will be a full nap. But he's been doing that lately. He's been taking a shorter first nap and then a full two hour second nap, which I'm fine with kind of makes sense like you just woke up from your sleep at night so you're tired but you're, but you're not that tired but then we play and then your yeah your second nap is like a big one so um what i worked on during his nap was he's looking out the window <laughs> hold on he likes to watch the cars pass Whoa. Let me set you guys on the windowsill. Let's see. Can we? Oh, we're a little high. We'll just lean back. So, what I worked on during Luca's first nap was I keep seeing everyone comment that they wish they could see my old videos, like some of my old videos. So, I went through and I've started unprivating all of my old Dollar Tree hauls. Oh, hi, Tara. So, um, I have made my way, I've started from the beginning, but, <laughs> is that Tara? I've made my way from 2010 to 2014 right now. All of those have been set public. Um, eventually I'm going to throw them all in a playlist once I am caught up. But um, I'm almost wondering, I need to plug my computer in and see if I can do it in like batches because I'm having to go in and individually set them all public. Um, but I don't want to set like all of my videos public. I just want to go through and set like my hauls and my Dollar Tree reviews and like DIYs and stuff public. So that's what I'm working on now. So maybe by this time tomorrow, so when you're watching this, they may all be available for you guys to go through and if you want to like binge watch a bunch of my old hauls you can now all of my old vlogs are on a completely separate channel so i um, i don't think that i will set those public um but is that tara is that tara's tail don't grab it. Don't grab it. Oh no. Oh no. But anyhow, that's what I've been doing during his nap. So I plan to keep doing it during his second nap and hopefully like finish. Oh, she ran away. So <laughs> was that funny? Was that funny? Are you ready to go play in the back room? And then we have to figure out what to do for lunch for you today. We're finally out of leftovers. Oh my goodness. Ow! You bit me! <laughs> You're crazy and wild. Oh, and then I also finished up my like Timu shopping that I wanted to get done today. So I got Kevin. We like to, Kevin and I like to do like, shirts that kind of like match but also not match but are also like themed so like for Christmas we like to do stuff for holidays and stuff like if he has a an out a outfit or something going on we like to get little shirts so I found Kevin a shirt on Timu and me a shirt on Timu for his birthday and I'm really excited about them I'm gonna surprise Kevin with his and like not show him I'll maybe show him when it comes in and that way I can like get his genuine reaction but I think it's really funny. It's, they're kind of like haha -ha shirts. So um, I got those. I got like a cupcake stand 
and just a few other really small, small things. So um, I finished that up and then that's when I started setting my videos public. So if you are a snooper or I wonder if they're gonna like randomly pop up in your, like in your, um, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't just overwhelm y'all's, like when you open your subscriptions, I hope it's not like just dumping them back into your subscriptions. If it is, I am so sorry. I don't mean to junk up your subscriptions, but I'm hoping it's not because I assume subscriptions are usually like newly uploaded. So if they've already been uploaded for like 10 years and I'm setting them live, I don't know. Sorry if it did, but a lot of people have asked for them to be um, public again, and I don't have an issue with setting the halls public. I just don't want to set stuff with my ex public again, so that's the stuff that I have privated still. So, anyhow, we're going to go play. That's a big yawn and we will catch back up with you guys in a little bit. I just wanted to hop on here really quick and upload a little video explaining where I've been because I know a lot of you guys are like following on Instagram and y'all are saying that you're happy, seeing that I'm happy and I'm like head over heels beyond happy right now. So um, in the future, me and my boyfriend have talked about going on a bunch of trips. We actually have like a list of stuff going that we want to do. So I think it would be really cool to vlog those. And he has brought it up to me. He knows that I've done YouTube, did YouTube um, in the past. And he has brought it up to me that that would be something he would also be interested in. So right now I'm still in the, I'm freaking obsessed with you and I want to spend all my time with you um, phase. So I'm just enjoying my time with him at the moment. But once we kind of like get settled in, in our dating life and get into more of a routine and everything then i do want to make videos with him like i said they might start oh, out just videos right and then they might go into something more um ali thought it would be a funny video to do who knows me best my boyfriend or my best friend her and him um so that might be another idea that we do in the future oh, i just blinked and like hair went in my eye so i've got a couple different things in my mind i definitely don't want to completely abandon youtube forever and not come back i just am really enjoying life right now and I feel like these past two months, two and a half months have just flown by. And I'm just really, really happy with him. Like, very happy. Wow. <laughs> so, just as I've been making, like, the playlist for my other channel, I was like, let me see if I can hack back into my old vlog channel. And this was the last video that I uploaded on my old vlog channel before I went, like, completely MIA. So, August 14th, 2019 was the last time that I did like a where have I been update and then Kevin and I just kept dating. I never ended up vlogging with him and then I came back to YouTube married with a baby. I guess I didn't realize like how much time actually passed from me stopping vlogging and starting back up until I just saw this. I'm like looking at that girl and I'm like, who are you? You've got beautiful long hair. <laughs> I just texted Alicia that and I was like, my hair's so long, luscious and thick. Man, having a baby will fuck your hair up because it is thin now. Man, postpartum hair loss is the worst. But anyhow, it took Luca a really long time to fall asleep for his second nap. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to let him sleep for. But I may let him sleep a little longer than his app says if he wants to. Um, but yeah, that's just what I've been doing all afternoon. I've been watching like some old privated videos and um me and Alicia have just been talking back and forth but 
it's been nice to just kind of like relax not actually really do anything all right y'all while luca is in the back room and he's just kind of like chilling right now and happy i think i'm gonna see how far i can make it with dinner i don't need to actually like cook it off yet kevin said he's leaving his work at 5 30 and it takes him about 30 minutes to get home depending on traffic so he'll be home at 6. it's only 4 45 right now so i think my plan is to go ahead and make the filling for the chicken and at least get that done. I feel like as he's hearing me talk, he's getting upset. He's watching Miss Rachel right now. Um, so that's my plan. We'll see. I thought that this was a um, like pain in the butt to make. But now that I'm looking at my recipe, I'm like, it's really not. It's very simple. So, and I love that I wrote myself a little hack here at the bottom. And it says, great to make before ziti. So if you have leftover chicken, you can have chicken with ziti. I'm also like trying different locations of putting my mic because I've noticed that everybody else that I mic up sounds so crisp and clear. And anytime that I'm editing, I always have to go in and up my volume of me talking. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's really annoying because like me and Kevin will be talking and he will be like, he will sound so good like he's holding the mic to his mouth and mine just does not sound like that and i'm like what's going on so this is also mic number two which i'm saying that from my own knowledge i'm interested to see if mic two just works better <clears throat> maybe and i just keep maybe handing mic two to people for some reason so anyhow let's make the filling i little little thing since I don't use um, Luca's Baby Breeza anymore. I went ahead and cleaned it. And um, now I have, hold on. Now I have a little bit more of a space. Just deep depth wise, I gained some space. So that's kind of exciting. So I'm gonna get all of the stuff that we need. I guess I'm gonna leave you guys kind of turned this way so you can see but i'm gonna have to actually let me take you off ringer so i can hear if it stops recording maybe i'm gonna use the back camera in hopes that it doesn't stop recording all right so for this meal we're gonna need ricotta we're gonna need parmesan an egg italian seasonings These are the Italian seasonings that I use. Everything Italian. Let me grab an egg. I need to add eggs to my grocery list. I try to add stuff as we start to get low so I don't forget things. So ricotta, parm, egg, Italian seasonings. Um, let's do pepper and it doesn't call for this but i can't imagine that i don't put it in there onion powder and garlic powder and then the pizza sauce that i absolutely love alicia turned me on to this pizza sauce it's primal kitchen unsweetened pizza sauce with avocado oil this stuff is like the most delicious pizza sauce i've ever tasted um i use it as pasta sauce even though it's pizza sauce basically this is no sugar added it's keto certified anyhow i've never tasted a sauce a pre-made sauce so delicious this ranks very high to my mom's sauce and i'm very picky when it comes to red sauces 
so that one is a good one. I'm gonna try to use like a more shallow bowl so maybe y'all can see in it better. All right, so yeah, you guys can see that. I'm gonna put my recipe propped up back here and we're gonna go ahead and make our filling. Make sure that you're still recording, you're still in there. So I'm gonna put my pizza sauce to the side and we're going to start. So, um, good. I didn't even see that I normally use three chicken breasts. I just grabbed three chicken breasts because typically I can't even eat a whole chicken breast, but Kevin can usually eat a decent amount of chicken. So I grabbed three, not even looking at the recipe. So it's going to start with one cup of ricotta cheese. I'm not any like, I'll use whatever ricotta. It doesn't have to be like any certain brand or anything. I also just saw, I think on TikTok, how to make ricotta cheese and my mind was blown. A little grossed out, but I love ricotta, but also blown. So I'm like, My child is just in there coughing because he knows it'll get my attention. All right, so one cup ricotta. Perfect. Um, I just realized this is fat free. Is that okay? Should be. All right, so we got our one cup of ricotta cheese. It's a half cup of Parmesan. So I'm gonna come over here and grab my half cup measuring. And if I can open the Parmesan, amazing. Is it shake Parmesan or, I think it's shredded. I didn't specify, but I really think it's shredded. Had to give it a little sniff test to make sure it smelled okie dokie and it did parmesan just smells like feet so all right so then half cup of parmesan make sure this is sealed up nice and tight so it doesn't go bad all right one egg so essentially you're making like the cheesy filling of lasagna I'm always a cheese lasagna girl. I don't really like like meat lasagna when it comes to like noodles and lasagna. Is that what I'm thinking of? What am I thinking of? Lasagna, yeah. Anyhow, then we're gonna do um, one tablespoon of Italian seasonings. And my tablespoon is still over here from yesterday. So we're just gonna do one tablespoon make it nice and flavorful maybe that's why i don't put in onion powder and garlic powder is it already in here kind of smells like it but let me just check and see what's in here garlic yeah it is it's already in here so that's why it's not that's why i don't add it all right and then how much pepper just says a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper that's weird that seems very little. So I'm just gonna do a little, sh ooh. That's why I shake over this thing because it just comes out so fast. That was literally no pepper at all, what the heck. This pepper is gonna get in my nose and make me have to sneeze. Okay. All right, so. That's everything for our um, mixture that we're gonna put in the chicken. So let's mix this up. I just feel like this is more like wet than it normally is, but maybe, I don't know. Weird. 
weird. I feel like the ricotta that I normally use has a different texture than this one. I mean, it's in date. And it doesn't smell like anything. It just looks a little different than I'm normally used to, I feel like. Maybe because it's fat-free. I don't think I usually get fat-free, but maybe I accidentally put fat-free on the list. I don't know. So, anyhow, maybe don't pick up fat-free ricotta. But this is our chicken mixture. So, I'm like, how much room do we have in the fridge? None. <laughs> I'm like, could I go ahead and, like, prepare it to bake it off? So I just, like, have to pop it in the oven when... I hear that Kevin is on his way home because it takes 35 minutes to cook and I'm not even 100% sure that our chicken is fully thawed so it may take longer than 35 minutes to cook but Luca is starting to lose his shit in the back room so maybe not. I'll have to see if this ricotta is good and if it is then I may make myself and Luca a little like tiny personal baked ziti or something. I don't know. Anyhow, let me put my Parmesan up. I'm thinking I'm going to add the rest of this Parmesan that I have in here, which is probably like a fourth of maybe a fourth. I don't know. Maybe a little less. But this one is, I just love using this. It's Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese. And I just feel like it's going to help bind this a little bit more. Like stiffen it up. I don't know. I can't put my finger on what's different about this mixture. But you can't go wrong with adding a little bit more cheese. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to throw this in the fridge for the time being. I finished this up, so I'm going to throw that away. Sorry, that was probably hella loud. I'm going to throw this in the fridge for the time being. And then once I hear from Kevin in about 30 minutes that he's on his way home, then I will start to assemble our chicken. And I'll probably have to bring Luca in the kitchen for that. But just in case... Just in case things go off the deep end, because Luca's been a little like all over the place today with like being happy and then not being happy. If things do go off the deep end, I just want to run over what I'm going to do with the next step. And that way, if I have to time lapse it, I did like verbally tell you guys what was happening. So you're going to preheat your oven to 400. And then take your chicken, cut like a pocket in the chicken, stuff the chicken with the stuff we just made. And then on top of that, you're going to cover with your marinara or pizza sauce, whatever is your favorite. And then you're going to sprinkle mozzarella on top. And then you're going to bake for 35 minutes or until your chicken um, comes to 165 on a meat thermometer. So super simple once you get it going and hopefully it's gonna be extra delicious. kind of a little bit frozen when I cooked it so it's taking a little bit longer than it called for but one chicken breast was ready because it was actually like more thawed than the other two so I pulled that one out and cut it in half and me and Kevin are gonna eat that and then um possibly like if Kevin's still hungry after dinner or after 
yeah, after dinner. And then after we give Luca his bath, the, the other ones will be done by then. But um, the other ones probably only need like 10 more minutes and then they'll be good. But yeah, so it's not super pretty, but I can show you the ones that are in the oven when they come out. Those are still pretty. This one I hacked in half. So I did creamed spinach on the side and then I've got our stuffed chicken breasts and Luca is having grilled chicken with some blueberries.